How are you guys? I know I haven't talked to you in so long. It's seriously been like a hot minute for me at least, I feel like. But um, I'm filming a video to sit down today. As you guys saw by the title already, oh my gosh, I have my bearded jacket out and I'm kind of just letting him <laughs> do whatever and he just literally yeeted from the bear. Anyways, um, I'm filming a video. I really, I only have one bar of battery so I kind of have to film this quickly, which stinks because I don't know where my charger's at. Not important. Anyways, guys, by the title of the video, you guys saw that I published a book. So this was my first book that I ever have wrote or published. I started writing it when I was, like, just turned 17, right? Yeah, just turned 17. Um, I'm 18 right now. Um, going to be 19 pretty soon, which is kind of wild. I'm sorry, I get so off track. Like, it's really an issue. Anyways, it's right here. I'll put it out for you guys to see. It has a little line around it. Um because this is one of the um, author copies that I have because all the other ones I want to sell, so like they're all downstairs. So I just grabbed this one that I have in my room. It's basically about um, my journey at the Mayo Clinic. Um, it's loosely based on that. It's mostly just a fictional story, but um, I kind of base it off of some people that I met there, some really good friends of mine. Um, Joe and Emma uh, are kind of based off of two of the characters. Um, <laughs> Elton staring at me. Hi! I kind of based it off of them because they were really important to me. And I feel like um, it's an important story. I really hope people get things out of it. I made it like the word choice really easy and like I made it so like really any age could read it. I mean, maybe not like 10 year olds, maybe not, might not like totally get what's going on, but I think they would for the most part get what's going on. I made it to where you can kind of see like what's going on um, at any age. Um, but it's on Amazon and it's also on Barnes and Nobles. I'm gonna have both the links below. Um, it would mean so much to me if you read it. I don't, so here's one of my pet peeves with people who buy my books. Please don't buy the book just to support me um, and not read it. I'd rather you actually buy it if you want to read it um, and not just so I'll have money, like I'll get money from it. Only buy my book if you actually are interested in reading and seeing what I worked on for a year and a half. Um, it's, I don't know why, but a lot of people have just bought it just to support me and that's totally, like, totally fine. But I'd rather you just, like, don't waste your money on anything if you're not actually going to, you know, read it. Because there's a lot of people out there who just aren't readers and that's totally fine. Um, but it's called What I Didn't See Before um, and I'm actually working on a second novel right now. It's not going to be published for a while though because... The journey at least I went through wasn't super expensive, but because I am moving into apartment uh, in the next month and a half, it is not something I can afford right now um, to get an editor and all those things. Um, I independently published, oh my gosh, Elton's falling. Let me go help him. I'm seriously so excited that this is out um, and that people are reading it. It just makes me really excited to see that, you know, people do care about... Um, the work that I put into making this book. Um, I really love writing. If you guys didn't know, I want to be a novelist when I get older. That's what I want my job to be. Um, I'm going to college for edu English education, um, creative writing, and minoring in linguistics. So I hope one day to be a teacher for seventh grade English and then write books like during the summer and on the side. But if I could have anything that like could be unrealistic or like, you know, a goal that like would be so easy to achieve. It would just to write books for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, he just fell. The camera just shifted, but it's fine. But I'm gonna have him sit here because he might jump out of my hands. He really loves exploring my room. Um, and my hands are really shaky, so he might not like this. But this is gonna die. I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, again, the link will be down below. It's called What I Didn't See Before. It's $12.99 on Amazon. Um, and if you live in a different country or something, it should ship to you. Let me know if you have any problems with that if you're in a different country I can definitely reach out to the publishing um, firm and see if they can uh, ship it to you guys as well but I really hope if you guys read it um, feel free to message me about it um, in my Instagram DMs I'll have my Instagram name below as well um, so you guys can message me on that or just comment below if you read it um, I know I keep saying like um I just like realized that that I've said um probably like 7,000 times in this video um, but it, I'm just gonna end it on purpose. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my strange energy, but I hope you guys really do like my book. 
Um, it would be a lot, mean so much to me if you read it and, um, yeah, if you if you like reading. So, I'm not going to give away any other details other than it's just loosely based off of the Mayo Clinic experience. But I'm going to stop talking, okay? I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, thank the heavens she's done talking. But I love you guys so much and um, let me know if you guys read it. Bye!